Hi guys, John here. It's kind of a disaster and it's about ready to fall down. So I'll show you guys what I'm trying to do to fix that uh, with the help of the old Cat 955. Got a little crack there below the door. Um, all in all, this sidewall's got some minor cracks in it, but nothing, nothing major. Uh, the biggest problem is this front wall here and the lower wall. Build date was somewhere around 1950-51. Here, this wall is about 50 foot long. Uh, sidewise, we're about 20-ish. No reinforcement. So it's basically concrete and, you know, rock. You can see there the foundation has cracked. So we have one pretty good crack right here. One crack right here. And then one crack in this corner right there. So, the game plan here is to try to, of course, bring this wall out. What's interesting in this case, they actually, there's a shelf halfway into this slab. So about six inches in, there's a shelf and that's where the floor sits. So this slab is actually pushing against the floor. Um, and of course what that's doing is pushing the center out down below. If we come back here, just give you guys a scary visual down the side here you can see uh, we're looking at a bow in about probably a couple feet and what's happening is the building is trying to push that way that corner so if you look at the top of the other side there you can see that the top is leaning that way uh, Inside the barn, there's four main beams across. You can see those eyelets, one on each side of the door. There's a main beam on each side of the door and then on the end. So there's four main beams. Um, and the second one in, this one right here on the inside is actually fully detached going across to the beam on the other side, so. Uh, cleaned out a little more dirt out of here. Uh, I should say a lot more dirt out of here. I uh, just wasn't liking how it was working out. Originally I was hoping just to put a little ditch right here, pull it out, but at the end of the day I figured I needed to be able to work here, so moved a lot of dirt out of here. Now, you know, I'll be able to grab at the lower part of the wall and pull it as I'm pulling the upper part of the wall instead of just trying to work with the upper part. Of course, basically all of it has shifted in. Not so much the bottom, more so the top, but the bottom needs to come out a little bit as well. Uh, other than that, I did remove some siding. This barn was built out of basically another barn so you can see there is a split here this beam does not go all the way across I did just um, receive some of these turnbuckles in from uh, 
e-rigging. I've been buying all my uh, rigging supplies from there. So the cable, turnbuckles, you know, thimbles, eyelets, all that stuff has been coming from there. Home Depot has been where I've been getting the, the threaded rod, nuts. Got this pretty well dug out. I want to keep a little dirt in that corner. You can see that crack on the far end there. Uh, I want to make sure we can try to stabilize that. So hopefully I can get this, you know, pulled back here, straighten it up, then work on that corner. I don't want it to, to collapse in that corner. So I did bring the International over, as you can see right there. So that'll be another anchor point, especially right here with this crack. So that's pushed, as you can see there as well. So the goal is all this working together, trying to go in that direction. On the top, there's also threaded rods gonna be going through. Basically, it'll be actually just a nut on the opposite side there, and an eyelet to the support that goes through the outside of this beam. You can see not the greatest, but we have house jack, house jack posts at an angle here, trying to work with the concrete pad and push this back in the proper direction. Jacks that go through the windows on trolleys. The game plan there is to run a cable from the trolley to the wall. So there'll be some more holes that'll need to be drilled through. These will just be basically cable and come alongs. So as I go, if I need to try to bring the whole assembly from that side towards the wall, I can do that. And also on the opposite side of the wall, that's going to be the primary pull points. These beams here pushing up at an angle against the wall trying to tilt it back again the main thing is the wall has tilted in so if I can bring it back uh, it'll be pretty close to, to where it needs to be I'm hoping so doing that there uh, the next thing of course is trying to get this floor moving back in that direction. So for that, I'm hoping to push this uh, beam back upright. You can see I've got some jacking posts here up against that, pushing it that way. Also, where that light's hanging, there's an eyelet, I'm going to connect that to the wall and use some cable as well to try to move the floor back into the uh, wall itself. On the lower section here, you can see I've got all my jacks here on these trolleys, so I'm hoping pushing that or pulling from the other side as well, that center support, leaning it back up, I can move the whole floor um, that way. Of course, I've got some come along here to help if needed, but I'm hoping just with these jacking posts and the cabling, you know, that'll, that'll move on its own. So, the way I know it's moving is because you can see I have a gap here now. This was up close to there. So 
we've probably moved three to four, four inches there. And then looking at out here on these posts, I don't know if you can see on camera, but they are tilted a little bit. And there's now a gap under here you can see that isn't painted. And that's the same right there. You can see we've got quite a bit of gap in here now, roughly seven inches. And you can see as we go down, uh, the gap gets smaller. Of course, the corners of the barn are a lot tighter than the center. So as we look at the posts, you can see I painted right here where the post used to sit. So you can see now how far we've actually gone, gone in. Um, I did order some dollies to go here, should be here sometime this week. You can really see how far off this was. So this was actually, you know, out here. So push that in. This wall is pretty, pretty bad tilted, but we are moving inwards now. Right there, you can see there's about a two inch gap and that's consistent to right over here. So what I've got to do there is I've got to pull that whole assembly. This'll, this'll come in and that should tighten up back in with that beam. I've got to cut these off with the Sawzall because of course you can see this wall is, is pushed out a little bit. but. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and thanks for watching, and stay tuned. Hopefully we can get her straightened back out and not fall into a hole.